Good morning, my beautiful ladies of my heart. Today is a get ready with me for a non, non makeup look. Un naturel, I guess would be a best way to do it. I'm going to lunch with a friend and I don't want a full set of makeup, but I do want to even out my skin tone and give my, uh, you know, give myself a little polished look. I have so much discoloration and dark spots and a remnant of a pimple there that I just, I want to do a light, a light dusting, if you will. So the first thing that you do, of course, is wash your face in the morning and then use a moisturizer, a very hydrating moisturizer, not a heavy cream, but we want to moisturize our face and get it plump and healthy looking to start with. And then I come in, I wait about five minutes, and then I come in and I do my sunscreen. And this is the R&R &R sunscreen. I've tinted sunscreen, I'm really loving it. So I put that all over and I did that with a dry sponge because I, it helps to get it on evenly for me rather than when I do my fingers and then my hands aren't all messy. You want your, all your skincare to set and be you know, a nice palette ready to go and not all greasy. I did put on um, my oil under my eyes, my ordinary squalene to get those hydrated and then I'm ready to tackle. The first thing I do is my brows. Yes, I have to do my brows, ladies. They're starting to fade a little. So I love my Mophie Ash Brown, little teeny tiny tip, and go in and just fill. You can start, I have a template, but you can start by just following your brow. I just fill it in. I fill and I brush. And I don't want it, it's a natural makeup look, so look, need to look polished. Just gave a little definition to it, not a whole lot. Same with the other side. But this doesn't get color on it, that spoolie end. And just follow your, follow the yellow brick road. And no brows, the right and the left, they're not twins, they're sisters. So for me, I just add a little bit to shape them. The brows take the longest, I swear. Okay, that's all I wanted to do for there. I will throw that aside. <laughs> and now because I have so much discoloration on my eyes, I'm using, um, this is L'Oreal Fond de Tint in Buff In. This is closer to my skin tone. We don't want it like a normal concealer where it's lighter than your skin tone. You want to match it because we're just going to work on this area because that's where people look at your eyes, your nose, and your lips. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to put on my eyes just a little bit to start. And I'm going to take my concealer brush and I am going to cover the veins and the discoloration without it looking real obvious because it is in my skin tone and I have to pay attention to the deep set eyes. And I go all the way up. And when you go all the way up under your brow, you will see where you missed plucking. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Hope nobody gets that close to me. Okay, and I will go down under my eyes as well with the leftover. Oh, I already had it on this side. Same with the other eye, just pat. You don't want it to look, you know, real obvious, but you want to cover the discoloration. So, and I have, or I wear my glasses. Of course, as soon as I put my glasses on, it'll rub it off. You can use a powder color corrector if that's what you prefer, depending if you have real greasy skin. And I just put it in the places that I have ha, discoloration. You know, we're not doing a full set of makeup, but just get the spots that are really, really obvious, like so. And then I will take a wet sponge and I will Pat it in. And that will help. Sometimes for some people, depending on their skin tone, that the um, tinted makeup 
tinted, tinted sunscreen will look just, just fine. So you just keep working it. You, and it's supposed to be natural. Go like that. So you don't have to have a lot. And like I said, it's best when it meets your skin tone. When it meets, when it matches your skin tone. And turn it, do a magnifying too. And um, I have a little one for around my eye, a little sponge to help. Remember, less is more. I mean, if you just really, uh, if you're if you're not liking the see-through look or just this area, you can certainly go all over. This one you can go all over with, but I, I don't want to do that this morning, so I'm just going in the red area. Just this area, okay? Whoops, very simple, very simple. Now, I still like a little shimmer on my eyes, so I have this Revlon uh, Color Stay in the color Praline. It's just very, very light, and I take my finger, and I will dab just on this, just on my eyelid, just a little bit. You can do, you can go all over your eye if you want, because it's not really a heavy color, but it will help your eyes to pop a little bit, and I need help being deep set eyes. Just follow your eye shape. Follow the yellow brick road. So I just did a little bit there, and, and I do like to also, my little finger, and highlight just a little there in the corner. It really helps those deep set eyes of mine. And the, um, the concealer that you use that matches your skin tone can help with the discoloration right in there without it looking like you got a whole bunch on. All right. Next, we are going to do a tight line. Now, you can certainly do your eyeliner. Do whatever you want on your eye. You want to go for the natural makeup look, and so sometimes that eyeliner can and really take away from the natural look. So I have this Rimmel tight line. Loving it. A little bit up like so. And I'm just going to tight line. But when I say tight line, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm not so much going on the upper water line as I'm going between my lashes. Don't poke yourself in the eye. Good Lord. It helps just to slow down when I'm talking. <laughs> and I'm just adding a little definition to the uh, lashes at the bottom. Remember, less is more. Just did a tad there, see? Same on the other side. I have a little growth on there. I don't know if I've told you before. No one's going to take that off, though. I'm sorry. That's too close to the eyeball. But I have a little challenge with trying to cover that. So, all right. And you can go out a little farther, but not too far, because it'll take away from the natural look. You can curl your eyelashes. I don't so much. I just take my favorite right now, which is still e.l.f. Excuse my sniffing. It's very cold out, you guys. Very cold out. And running the heater is going to dry out our skin. More so than normal. So that's why a hydrating moisturizer in the morning is a key for our skin. And you just keep building your lashes to where, you know, I always want to go over that way. It's probably the way I sleep. So I try to pull them over. Try to pull those lashes over. So all I have right now is this jumbo uh, eye cream, eyeshadow cream by NYX in cottage cheese. Now I will not put that on my eyelid because that won't look natural. <laughs> so I take it on my bottom right now I'm going to go try to get to just give me a little bit of light in there just to let them stand out this is actually too fat so uh, please suggest an under eye sparkly natural looking <laughs> waterline oh just a just a little bit so that my eyes pop out, but it's not really off. It's not pop out. You know, I always try to get my eye pop out. And then I found this e.l.f. clear. It's for brows and uh, eyelashes. 
and I have, because my eyelashes tend to get all curly on the bottom, but I don't want any black down there, I will take this clear. And it helps just pull my lashes out without, you know, going helter-skelter. I really like this. And that is a natural look. All right, next. I don't look too shiny, but it's always fun to put a setting powder on. And of course, you know, my Laura Mercier, I just have a little in the lid and my big fluffy brush, brush, brush. And I just kind of go over in the T-zone. Okay. Now, also what you can do, it's not necessary for your natural look, but it can give yourself a little glow here to little rosy cheeks. So of course, I love my e.l.f. Just a little shimmer in peachy or blush brush. I can't remember what it is. I take my blush brush and I swirl, swirly girly gumdrops, and you go up here just a little bit. I don't put it on my cheeks anymore, mostly because of the roatia that I'm I'm trying to get rid of. But when you smile, your cheeks are up here, and when you don't smile, they're down. And so your your blush would be down. So I just do a hint of it so it's natural. Don't do a dark color, just do something. Yep. Just on those cheeks to help them look a little glowy. That's all personal preference. And then I'm going to take my lips. <clears throat> And I put City Lips Plumping on them earlier, so I gotta wipe that off, give my lips a little fullness. And then I take my Line Out Loud by NYX in Trophy Life. It's just my favorite. I'm lining my lips ever so lightly because my lips are small and I wanna kinda of bring them out, but you could just use a, a neutral lip gloss. I look better with liner and I just do it lightly okay and I'll go around and smooth it I take my NARS lip balm in the color orgasm I don't know who names these but anyway it's kind of a little pinky like that and I go like a so it helps your lips to have color to them, but not look all painted up. I mean, I think it's just a pretty subtle look. My eyes do pop because I did put a little shimmer on it. Wouldn't it be nice if we just looked like this when we woke up? Just the eyelashes and the brows, all of it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I am starving. I'm going to lunch, so I will see you again with the Ipsy Reveal. Lala out.